What's up guys, Sam Rebels Off-Road. This is part one of a series where we will be doing different mods to our Kawasaki KRX and measuring the performance upgrade using our Draggy device. So on today's video, we are going to be doing the DinoJet Tune, which is a little uh, flash tuner. It's the PV3. And so what we're gonna be doing is running the stock tune with our Kawasaki KRX on 35 inch tires. We're gonna be using the stock belt and we're gonna be doing a before and after of this dino jet tune. And in the next video, we will be doing some modifications to our clutch, adding clutch weights and a badass belt to see what the upgrade is from those modifications as well. So if you haven't yet, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe and we are gonna get right into this video. So I've been running this DinoJet tune for a little bit. I like it, but I wanted to see what the actual performance was with this tune. So I went ahead and detuned it. As you can see right here, it says slash DinoJet tune to receive data channels. So it is the stock tune currently, and we're gonna connect to our Draggy on our phone. I have um, the actual device set up on top of the roll cage right there. Had it plugged into battery power for now, but we're gonna go ahead and take it for a rip and and see where we're at on the stock tune, stock belt with 35 inch tires. So if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I do not condone drag racing of any kind on the street. Street racing is highly illegal. <laughs> and very dangerous. So we're actually gonna be going over to Mexico to uh, conduct this test. It's really convenient where I live because Mexico is actually just right past that tree line, right over there, so yeah. Oh yeah, border, Um, yeah. No, we're not gonna be crossing the border illegally. We're actually going to be going over there perfectly legally. We're gonna be wearing safety gear, crash pads, fire suits, all of that. Oh, we don't have the fire suit? Okay, well, well, we'll be wearing our helmet in a closed course environment. Oh, it's, it's, not, it's not closed course? Oh, okay. Well, we'll be doing it in a safe environment. So to summarize, street racing, highly illegal and very dangerous and we will have no part in it. Pretty convenient that we don't have to drag race in the US. Okay, so we got the draggy set up up there. Um, we're gonna line up with this tree. It is a little bit of a downhill, but we'll do every run from this tree So it is completely fair and so we'll see the modifications as they stack up So I'm gonna go ahead and mount the camera up keep in mind that the tires do Change the speedometer setting a little bit. So the draggy actually is GPS and it will keep track of that um, actual GPS speed our third and final run on the stock tune in 35. So we're gonna get the draggy set up again.
Okay, so now we've got some data on the stock tune with 35 inch tires and the stock belt and stock clutching. Now we're gonna go ahead and use the flash tune on the Dynojet that comes from Dynojet and then we're gonna redo this test. Um, I'm gonna show you real quick how we're, we do that and uh, basically you hit the menu button and it's this flash tune and hit that and then we're gonna use the Dynojet tune there so we're gonna head and select that and we're gonna say start flash. That's the, the tune's information. It's just a standard Dynojet tune with a stock muffler. So we're gonna go ahead and hit that and we're gonna press again and we're gonna start the tune. We're gonna have to give it a few minutes, the Dynojet tune back in there, and it's gonna take a few minutes, so we'll be back. Now this Dynojet tuner does a bunch of cool things, like sets the temperature that the cooling fan will turn on at, and does the full power override for the reverse gear, and a bunch of other really nice things in addition to the performance upgrade. So I did this, not just for the performance upgrades, but for some of those other reasons as well, and I really think it's a great, option even if it doesn't give a bunch of performance upgrades but i think i have a sneaky suspicion that we're gonna see some improvements here we're getting almost done with the writing of the tune so now that the tune is set you can actually set a bunch of different cool little gauges here you can see like the pedal engagement degree there right here watch when i push the pedal it shows the amount of engagement there and then the idle air temperature i have it the gear there and then channel four i don't have set yet but you can do all kinds of cool stuff with these gauges to monitor your engine performance and some other sensors but anyways we're gonna go get strapped back in gonna throw on my helmet and we're gonna test out this tune with the 35 inch tires the stock belt and stock clutching I can definitely tell that we picked up a little bit more speed as well as a little bit more acceleration, but we're gonna check the data after this. This is going to be round two of the Dynojet tune with 35 inch tires and the stock belt. So here we go. So this is gonna be our third and final run with the 35s, the Dynojet tune, and the stock belt and clutch. So it's time to start examining some of the data that we got from our runs. And I set up this spreadsheet here to, learn. Um, to capture our modifications and the data associated with it, our gains and losses. So we are capturing the 60 foot, the eighth of the mile, the zero to 60, the 1000 foot, a quarter mile, and then the top speed from each of these modifications. I've highlighted in green the top you know, category for each of these runs. So on the first set, which is the stock setup with the 35s, run two was across the board the fastest. On the tune setup, run one was mostly the fastest, except for this thousand foot, which ended up being the run three thousand foot was slightly faster. So I've captured all of the top ones up here, and those are the ones that we're gonna be comparing. I've compiled down here what the net gain and loss was between these two 
And so as you can see with the tune, on the 60 foot, we shaved off a tenth of a second. On the eighth of a mile, we shaved off three tenths of a second and added 0.96 miles per hour. On the zero to 60, we shaved off 0.96 seconds. On the thousand foot, we shaved off three tenths of a second and added 0.1 mile per hour. On the quarter mile, we shaved off a little over three tenths of a second and added 0.38 miles per hour. And then on the top speed, we actually added two miles per hour. So across the board, solid gains for this Dinojet tune which is what we kind of expected. From the seat of the pants type feel, I kind of knew that we got some gains across the board. Plus you get all the other benefits, like I mentioned, about the fan coming on sooner and the full reverse override. Um, so you have the full power in reverse and some other great features like data logging and um, uh, some of the gauges that you can set up for it as well. So overall, pretty solid performance mod. All right, that's it for today's video. So you're going to stay around for all the upcoming modifications. We have a bunch more testing we're going to be doing as we add these modifications. Similarly to this video, we're going to be showing the performance of each modification as we build this machine. So go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe so you can stay up to date on that and all of our upcoming videos. And we will see you next time.